this is the third video in the series where we've been looking at factorising um, equations where we've got a number, a coefficient of x squared. Now there is a particular technique of doing this that I tend to use. If you're not sure, please do have a look at the previous videos and they'll give you some more examples as well. The whole idea is what we do is we take four and minus 5 and we multiply those two together. In this particular case I'm going to get minus 20 because 4 times minus 5 is minus 20. And then what I'm looking for is two numbers which are factors of minus 20 and when I add them together will make minus 19. So the only two numbers that would work for that would be minus 20 and positive 1 because they are the only two numbers that are factors of minus 20 and when I add minus 20 and plus 1 I'm going to get minus 19. So for instance I could have chosen 4 and 5 but when I add those together I'm going to get 9. So that's not going to work for me in any way. One of those needs to be a negative number, so it gets even more complicated. Maybe have a go at some of these yourself and see if you can figure out which would be the two numbers that will add together to make minus 19 or whatever the central number is on these equations. Okay, so then it's a case of rewriting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write 4x squared and I'm going to write minus 20x plus, uh, I'm just going to put 1x just because it's easier and then minus 5 equals 0. So this minus 20x plus 1x is exactly the same as that minus 19. Okay, so just be very careful to make sure you write these around the correct way and you'll soon get the hang of it if you practice a little bit. And then the next uh, stage is to factorise the first two terms. I'm going to factorise that for 4x. So I can write that as x minus 5. So 4x times x minus 5 will give me 4x squared minus 20x. And then the second one, I'm going to factorise for plus 1. And again, I'm going to get x minus 5 equals 0. OK, so just to check that, if I do plus 1 times x, I get plus 1x, and plus 1 times minus 5, I get minus 5, okay? All right, so now I've got two bracketed terms that I can bring together, which is x minus 5. So I can rewrite all of this as 4x plus 1 times x minus 5 equals 0. And then it's really just a case of saying, well, actually, in this particular case, that's the factorization. It's perfectly fine. However, they have actually asked you to solve it because it's equal to zero. So what we're actually doing is we're looking at a quadratic equation. And in this particular case, we've got um, a value here and a value here. And I know that those values are positive five and minus a quarter because x minus 5 equals 0. So if x minus 5 equals 0, then x must equal 5. And also, if 4x plus 1 equals 0, then if, if you like, I can say 4x plus 1 equals 0. Bring this one over, I get 4x equals minus 1. Divide through by 4, I get x equals minus a quarter. So those are the two values where x equals 5 and x equals minus a quarter. Now it's quite unusual for you to be asked to solve these or if you like to make them equal to zero. Most questions are all about factorising but there's just the odd question here or there that will just take it that one step further. I hope it's been useful to you. Please do keep watching the series, uh, the whole playlist. There are some other examples that I'll be covering in the next few videos. Again, all using the same technique and once you get used to practising this technique it should be fairly straightforward for you. Hope it's been helpful and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video. Thank you.